Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. Keith here from Command the Hoop Celtic. If this is your first time viewing my YouTube channel, if you could subscribe to the channel or even a thumbs up, it would be really appreciated. So I have a bit of transfer news for you. Potential targets and people that could be leaving the club. First of all, I just want to wish Christopher Royer the very best at Brentford. We have had them for five years. We made 13.5 million off this sale. And I wish him the very best of staying in the Premier League with Thomas Frank, Yvonne Tony, Brentford. They're an up and coming club. They're not any near the statue of Glasgow Celtic. But at the end of the day, he's Norwegian. He wants a challenge. He wants to play in the big leagues. So I completely understand where he comes from. We could have left him for the last, to the end of the season, and made no money off him. We could have signed a pre contract in January. So I'm delighted with the bit of business we made there. Regards to Carl Starfeld, I'm delighted with that as well. Obviously, he's undergoing his isolation at the moment. He was watching the game the other night. He's over six foot. He's 26 years of age. He's represented Sweden three times. He's played in a real competitive league, the Russian league, playing for Rupert Kazan, playing against the likes of Spartak Moscow, Lokomotiv of Moscow, Zenit St. Petersburg. Tough teams in the Russian league. So um, I'm looking forward to getting him in there. We've been linked with a centre back, Itakura. He's a Japanese centre back. That's um, his pairing club is Man City. Man City players, what's going on with Celtic? And um, he played for Groningen for the last two years in the Dutch league. Got some good stats out of him. He's 24 years of age. He's currently playing for China, uh, Japan at the moment. Sorry, couldn't play for Japan at the moment at the Olympics. He's six foot one. His pass conversion um, last season was 88% in the Dutch league and his tackle percentage was 76%. So this is the lad that's highly rated. He's looking for a move away and Celtic are the favourites to lure him. There's a couple of clubs that's in after him. Borny's after him. A couple of teams in La Liga want him and one or two teams in Syria that want him as well. So if we can get Itakura over the line, happy days. You, know, you never know for sure. He might put in a word from him. We'll have two Japanese players at Celtic, fingers crossed. Another lad we've been linked with is a striker from Rennes. His name is Niang. Now, this guy played for AC Milan about four years ago. He was a prospect coming through. He represented France up to under-19s level and then decided to play his allegiance to Senegal. He plays for Senegal at the moment. He's played over 41 times for Senegal and scored eight goals. So, he's six foot two. He's 28 years of age. He's currently playing for Ren. Now, we all know what the situation was with Celtic and Ren. Brandon Soupy, where was that gone? You know, like there's a there's a player that was linked to come to us. Could we get this lad over the line? Could he be Edwards' replacement for the next two to three years? We'll have to see. Speaking of odds on Edwards, there's been a lot of talk of Brighton submitted a bid of 21.5 million for Edward. If that's the real fee, take it. Take it. He doesn't want to be a Celtic. You can see his body language the other night in certain parts of the game. He's just not up for it. So let him go. There is reports that Celtic are holding off for 25 million. But if we're getting off for 21.5, take it. I'm sure any Celtic fan that's watching this now would say the same. You know, I was pretty happy even to get 15 million from 21.5. I know PSG get a sell on clause of um, 40% of this deal. So let him go there. Let him reunite with Shane Duffy and see how he gets on. I'm sure it won't be as bad as last season for him. But let's see what happens there. We've been linked with two keepers at the moment. Fraser Foster has a lot of talk. He's um reports that he's torn down a new contract with Southampton. He's 23 years of age. He's at the been at Celtic on three different occasions. Two loan moves and a permanent move. He had the 16 clean sheet record at Celtic. Some iconic moments when it's the League Cup final. At Hamden back in 2019, some crucial Europa League matches, some crucial saves, penalty saves in his campaigns at Celtic. I'd love to have him back. We're really struggling, as we've seen the other night in the Champions League qualifier against Michelin. Barkas, his confidence is not there. Bain is not up for it. Connor Hazard, I don't think we could stick him in there. I don't think he's enough experience. So we need a keeper. Um, Fraser Foster, torn down 100, he's on 130 grand at the moment. The new contract that he's been offered was a two-year contract and 75 grand a week. So if Celtic are willing to put the money in and try to get this guy on a long move until the end of the season from Southampton, even pay the 43 grand that, which is a third of his wages, 
I'd be happy to do it because we all miss Fraser. As much as some Celtic fans are like, ah, he's laid his bed with us, he wanted to go back to Southampton because Southampton, they're not a bigger club than Celtic, but do you have the money to give facilitate the players and get them to go to salary because they're in the Premier League? You know, we'd be mad not to. So um, if we get big Fraser back, happy days. There's another lad that we're linked with. He's a Belgium, Belgium international. He's a goalkeeper from Anderlecht, Henrik van Kuhn Bluish. Now he's... 28 years of age, he's played for Anderlecht over 40 times in the last two years. He's represented Belgium in a friendly back a couple of years ago under Martinez. He came out and said to the Belgian press that he wants to move to Celtic. He has a thing for Celtic. So if this is a guy that wants to play for Ange and play for the club and he's, he's a reasonable transfer, a reasonable fee from the Belgian league, take him. Why not, you know? Why not? So we'll have to see what happens. And the last player I want to talk about is a player called George Baddock. Now, he's playing for Sheffield United. He's been at Sheffield United since 2017. Walked, on, walked under Chris Wilder. He was a part of the Sheffield United success to get into the Premier League, stay in the Premier League for that fourth season. He's played over 178 times for Sheffield United. He's a right back. He's 28 years of age and he's 5 foot 10. Reportedly, the fee is that we're looking to get him is two million. We get this lad over the line, happy days. We're caught crying out for right backs, you know. We got Starfelt in for centre back. If we get Eat Curry in, I'll be happy with that business for centre backs because we need to offload Beaton. Beaton has to go. He's not a centre back. He, with the wealth experience he has, when it comes down to the big games, he always makes a shambles of himself. And I'm sure a lot of Celtic fans want Beaton to go. So let's see what happens there. But that's really it. If Edward goes for 21.5 million, use it. Boy, Balak, boy, Niang. Get um, get Ita Curry in on a decent deal. And we're laughing. So let's see what happens. Subscribe to the channel, folks. That's all the transfer news. Um, I'll be back tomorrow to talk about the West Ham game. 80,500 fans in allowed in tomorrow. Well, if you are going to the game, I hope you really enjoy it. My personal experience, I would just say, is um, just take the game in. It's the preseason. There's nothing to lose. All we should do is just put our young fellas out, keep the big players for the big game over in Denmark on Wednesday night, and just get the fitness levels up. Simple as that, because that's more important than putting out a few of the force team regulars. They might get an injury, and then they're reeled out from Wednesday night. So let's see what happens. Take care, Tims. Have a good one. Hell, hell.